Hello, chat. What a special day. Let me fix the white balance, though. How do we feel about it? All right. I know I have 60 excited people who want me to bust into this multi tens of thousands of dollar box and get on with it. So I'm not going to waste anybody's time. We have a long stream. So let's get to it. Here we have Senpai Goddess Haven. I think this is series two or three. This deck was sourced and provided by Ancestral MTG. Ooh, thank you so much. They allow me to open these uh, packs with guarantees. So thank you, Ancestral MTG, who protects my money and protects chat's money. And thank you to Alex for uh, Alex.shop for fulfilling all these and shipping these to you guys. First, I'm just gonna open the box and assign each card a number. And then at the end, we will randomize the names and the numbers and voila. Shouts out Ancestral MTG. Shouts out CGC and shouts out Alex.shop. $7.95. Don't go buy Bitcoin, guys. If you got a time machine, buy magic. All right, let's crack this thing. So this thing looks definitely worn. This thing looks beat to shit, I will say. To me, that's no indication. I will say before we crack this, I am recording over here. Before we crack this, ladies and gentlemen, obviously, if this uh, comes back fake or repacked, here's the order of operations for this. I'm going to have Tavis look at this. I'll have the people I work with look at this if there's any issues. And then I will refund all my lovely customers. Stop talking. Let me tell you guys a story. Here we go. Let's, let's, I don't know. How, this is already like kind of crap. Look at this. You watching? Everybody watching? Let's see if, the, okay, get ready for Wyvern cards. Happy Persian New Year, Wubby. Thank you. Look at that. Damage. Look at this. This pack is older than a lot of chat. This pack's older than me. So who knows? Let's do this. <laughs> I'm stressing everybody out. The condition of the pack on the outside is not always indicative of anything. It's just, you know, it's well loved. So here we go. I don't like wearing gloves. I always say this. I feel like I can, I can handle the cards much better without gloves. Good sign immediately. You have ink on your wrists. Yeah, I can't get rid of that. I nailed it. Oh, I nailed it because I'm so good at this. Oh, my God. I've made the incision. The cards are free. These cards are getting a breath of fresh San Diego air, maybe for the first time in their lives. If I am correct here, this is how the setup should go. These are all the commons. These, t this should be a rare, and this one should be a rare under it. <sighs> All right, um, without further ado, the first uh, common. You guys ready? Heavy breathing? Let's get to it. We got a lot of these to get through. Here we go. Okay, I don't know why I got scared, but it looks correct. Serve protection black. Okay, it's so this is the one ring. If you guys know, this is the card Post Malone was after. Centering looks uh, f great. Fantastic. Actually, is anyone else nervous? I just got really nervous. All right, next one. Mountain. Let's take a real good look at this. It looks crisp. We're looking good. I mean, I know I didn't intro I, I, about like what we're looking for. I feel like chat, you're here. You know what we're looking for. You know what the goal is. This this pack's probably been through a dryer. Ooh, frozen shade. Okay. Okay. Did you say I'm pulling a time walk? If, if you're right and I pull a time walk, I'll pull down my pants live and I will spread my asshole on camera. Four. Okay. The Mew King herself. Whatever. Nothing crazy. Bet. Lock in. If I pull a time walk today, I will bend over and I will spread and show my asshole to the camera on stream live. Shouts out to all the magic old heads who are watching right now going, who the f this kid is the worst. Oh, yeah. Yes, uh, boys! Banger! It's all downhill from here, but that is a crispy lightning bolt. Already so good. Look at him. Oh. Oh. How Stop touching your face. How to turn on the leaf blower? There's no leaf blower enabled today. Here comes six. A swamp. Nothing crazy. Thanks, I would like you. to do sleeves eventually. If a and power a nine gets nine. pulled, I will come. Drunk and feeling financially irresponsible. Planes. Yep. Here you go for making me laugh. Thank you, man. I, I appreciate that. Here comes eight. Shouts out to Booty once again, writing the sticky notes for us. Forrest, these look good. No, I don't see a single tap symbol in sight, which good. I want you guys to know. Tap symbols are ruined for me now. They legitimately give me panic when I see them just when I'm playing Magic because I don't even want to talk about it. Here comes nine. So we already pulled Lightning Bolt. Huge mountain. That's the crazy thing. Here comes 10. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. Sorry I even said anything. Save for the five, Jevons. Here comes 11. We got a giant spider. Watch out! 
And it, this also is centered nicely too, I would say. Very nicely. But the thing is, we would adapt. If there was giant spiders, there would just be giant raid. In fact, everything would scale up again and then it would just be normal. Giant flip-flop for sale at Walmart, at giant Walmart. It would, it's not, I'm not, I'm, you know, I convinced myself to not be scared anymore. Here comes 12. Now, what other commentary are you gonna get like this when opening a multi-thousand dollar pack? This is the professional, see, giant flamethrower. This is the professional commentary that you wanna get when we pull shatter. 13, unlucky number 13. I don't like seeing twiddle. Caster may tap or untap any one land, creature, or artifact in play. No effects are generated by the target card. There's 13, here comes 14. Uh, planes. We're going to be doing a box break, not like a deck, but an actual box. And I'm thinking, chat, tell me how this sounds. I was thinking what we do is a lot of people, when they get old packs, like if we we're going to do a beta or an unlimited box break, people want the pack shipped to them sealed. They want the pack. They don't want the, they don't want it opened. I want the cards open because I want the content out of it. So I'm thinking do a box break. You can get your pack sealed and shipped to you, but it, it'll be cheaper. And I will like maybe 20% cheaper if you let me crack it on stream and then offer free grading with it too. Is that a good idea? I thought that was a good idea. Here comes 15, Hill Giant. Can I ask you a question, chat? Where do you think this Hill Giant gets his gear, gets his club, gets his toilet paper, his toiletries, his toothbrush? Where do you think he goes? Say it together with me, Giant Walmart. 15, here comes 16. Whatever, we have fun here. Ooh, we got piss hands. Power sink. Ooh, this one has like a chip or something. Do you see that? What is that? Take a look in a second. 17. Death Ward. Regenerate target creature. Regeneration. The term that is so not used or nobody cares about anymore. You're playing commander and it's like, this card cannot be regenerated. Ryan, put up the total right now. How we doing? How much money have the boys made? How much money have the boys lost if they bought in at 800 a slot? Ooh. Lightning Bolt guy's doing good. All right. 18. War Mammoth. Uh, as always. This one has so many... Look... At that shit. Look at the print dots on this thing. This happens. Not a scam. This is how it goes. Fear. I fear the print marks. Yup, bro. Yep. I do like how big the text was on these, though. So much. It's just so easy to read. Ooh, unsummon. Return creature to owner's hand. Enchantments on creature are discarded. Unsummon cannot be played during the damage dealing phase of an attack. All right, there's 20. Here comes 21. Wall of wood. Boys, am I right? Huh? Thanks for the great B-Day present, Wubby. Hopefully 22. whatever card I end up with Swamp. can actually go in a deck. You're gonna you're gonna crack it? These are getting graded, bro. Do not crack this card and put it in a deck. It's grading! I'm not even charging you for it. Don't do it! You're gonna crack it? Psycho 23. Island. We have to go back to the island, Jack. Uh 24. Forest. We have to go back to the green mana symbol, Jack. So far, hey, good son, centering, be solid with comments. The next card, don't want you to catch the plague. BTW, you should really get the Coke Zero. From if the next front card is plague, I end stream. Can't wait to see the Senpai Power Nine. Heard okay, the chick buddy. named USS Washington All has right, some major you little cares. nerd. Okay, sweat. What's the next one then? What's the next one then? Huh? You got your little f sheet in front of you. Okay. Okay, dude. What's next? Okay, Sorry here comes 26. About the dong requests. Sea Serpent. Okay, what's next? The, the commons are definitely mapped. You can map them. What's next? Okay, time walk is next. Here we go. Ew, it's a gi now, giant chat, growth. Chat, question for you. Okay. Where would you go to get the giant growth serum? On three, ready? One, two, giant Walmart. Good job, chat. Good job. Someone said Costco. What's funny is in our giant retcon, Costco is still just called Costco. Yeah, we, well, we have we a valuable dark ritual for someone next year. No, we will not. Ah! Okay, yes, dude! I'm not even mad that you're mapping because this is banger. So far, best commons we've hit. We take those. Best commons we've hit. Congrats to somebody. Next, we have false orders. False orders, that's 29. Here comes 30. Ooh, power leak. I like the art. Kind of looks like mold, though. Actually, it looks like mold a lot, and I'm turning myself off to it. Actually, I'm over it. I don't like it. 31. Tranquility. 32. Take my last $7. I'll miss rent this month and won't have internet to watch stream, Sag. Bro, shut the f*** up. Paralyze. Been manifesting 33. a time walk all week. Also, let me get that Hanada with it. 
Hey, Wubs, hope you had a giant day. Could I get a giant smooch? If you pull a time twister, I'm gonna get it. 34. We're almost done. Oh, yo! Give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Teach a man about fishnet titties and way doggy. I gotta pause these. I am a little worried that we, uh, I am trying to, uh, this magic content is to appeal to my, my fans, my magic fans, but I also would love if it would spread to magic community in general. And I'm a little nervous because you guys make it a little hard. Here comes 36. <clears throat> Terror. The way this is worded is absurd. Destroys target creature. You need to listen to me. There is no possibility of regeneration. I want you to get that thought out of your skull. No shot on God for real is what this card says. All right, there's 36, 37. Red Elemental Blast. Very playable card. I'm just happy to see that we pulled it. Hey, if you're going to crack something, crack this. If you're going to crack something, crack, I, would, I would run this. Banger. Banger card. All right, 38. Saeed, we have to go back to the island. There, is that better? Is that better, chat? 39. Forest. Here comes 40. Swamp. I'm, I'm, chat, I'm happy with the commons. We've hit some good commons. We hit Lightning Bolt. We hit Dark Ritual. Red Elemental Blast. 41. Ooh. I don't know why I get excited at this card. I shouldn't. Chop, chop card, boy. I gotta work soon. Oh. <laughs> okay. 42. Jump! Bump, 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 bump. Thundering stayed pretty consistently decent throughout. I'm happy about that. Oh, 43. Wild Growth. Again, very playable card. Focus in. 44. Scathe Zombies. Oh, banger hit! Okay, we had fantastic comments. Fantastic, boys. I, I need to get this sleeved. I don't want to hold it. Look at it, too. It's so good! All right, let's look at the uncommons now. I'm going to slide the rares up here. First uncommon. Consecrate land. She is just T-posing, isn't she? <laughs> 47. Card feels thicker. Yeah, baby. Sometimes it's not about what the card is worth. Sometimes it's about the joy that brings you. The card brings you, you know what I'm saying? And what can I say? 48. Okay, glass of Urza. You can pull off those glasses. Do you guys think I could pull off glass, the, the Urza's glasses? It was 49. There are some bangers we could hit here. Let's hope for one. <laughs> Dude, we are! Let's go! Oh, baby. Huge hit. Big hit. Another one. That's a soul ring. Congrats to someone. One lucky mother Congrats. Damn. Damn. 49. Centering is a little off, yes, but like, would you turn down a pack fresh free grading of a soul ring? I wouldn't. I would keep that shit graded. Congrats on the soul ring, my man. Here, let me show you the back. This one's worth showing the back. All right, 50. Eat it. That is a dark mountain. That's an uncommon mountain and a bit of an L if I ever seen one. Damn, that boy dark. Rare island incoming? Yeah, and, and a plains too, right? Oh, God! I feel like he should have a little penis. Tell me I'm wrong. There are people in chat who are going, no, he's right. I saw someone chat going, no, 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 he's right. He's right. All right, 52. Ooh, tunnel. I don't think we pulled this one yet, or have we? All right, there's 52. That was Disney Channel back in the day. All right, 53. Red Ward. Target creature gains protection from red. Okay. All right, 54. <sighs> Two uncommon mountains. All right, 55. All of opponent's creatures that can attack must do so. Underrated card. Do you think so? All right, here we go. Last potential uncommon. No alpha rares. Unlucky. And it's a little dragon whelp. Cute dog shit card. The two top right cards are commons. The right two cards. These are the uncommons. You know for sure. All right, let's test this guy. Jake Matt. We're going to test you. 
He's saying these are the uncommons for sure and that these are the rares. Let's find out. Three, two, one. I think you're right. Good call. Dude, how do you know that? How do you know that? All right, wall of water, 57 and 58. Here we go. Last uncommon and... That's the guy who mapped your revised openings. He's cracked. Bro, let's call you at some point. And wall of fire. Okay, cool. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to pause the music. Oh, I just stuck that directly onto the card. Okay. That was so thoughtless. Oh, my God. <laughs> Glad I didn't... Woo! Woo! Let me focus. Okay, hold on. For the guy who gets wall of fire, hit me up. If you got a problem with it, we could talk. I'm serious. To the guy who gets wall of fire, if you got a problem with it, hit me up. All right. Let's pause the music. Let me focus now. Two cards, two rares, two chances at power nine. A lot is on the line here. Fame, glory, showing my bare asshole if it's a time walk. Hinata, we do it for her. I'm going to reveal the first one to get it out of the way. Which one? I'm going to reveal this one first. Here we go. First rare. Three, two, one. Is this even a rare? I don't even know. Hold on. Is this even a rare? Wait. You know, in like a, like, um, I've seen this in like famous, like, uh, like Hollywood people do this when the, like a famous lady starts crying and they go, get her up, just get her off camera. That's how I feel right now. Just get him off camera. <laughs> well, why would you repack it with lightning bolt and dark ritual and land where elves? Why would you do that? It doesn't even make sense. The logic of that is actually insane because those are like the three best commons. Why would you put two commons and soul ring? Oh, wait, hold on. So I'm being told that this can just happen. Well, that's not, no, I don't know what to do. What do you mean? Because this can just happen. I feel I can see the writing on the wall now. There is undoubtedly almost 100% the answers I'm going to hear are this can happen. So sad, too bad. I didn't know that was possible. And I can't apologize for not knowing something I didn't know, but I can say that's my bad for, for, you know, I'm sorry. I didn't know that was a thing could happen. I did not know. That, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't even know if that's true, dude. All right, so that's the beta opening. Was it real? Was it fake? What do we do? I don't know. My guess is it was probably real. And, um... And that's unfortunate. Two weeks later. All right, let's give this magic update. Now, I didn't want to talk about this on stream today. Unfortunately, my hands are a bit tied. So chat, this is going to be dry. Normally, I would not talk about this on stream. In fact, if this was any other situation, I would say save it for Magic Monday. Unfortunately, it involves your money. So I have to talk about it as soon as I can. And this is the most efficient, fastest, and easiest way to get a message out to my audience. So... We opened a beta starter deck on stream. My life for the last 48 hours has been a bit of a nightmare. So here's, here's the situation I was in after stream. My business partners, multiple figureheads in the magic community coming to me, and everyone outside of my community being like, hey, bro, we believe the box is real. And then my entire community, the subreddit, the chat, everyone's up in arms being like, it's fake, what do we do? So I get off stream and I'm like immediately in calls and on these things and, and I have a lot to explain. And basically I believe that the beta starter deck we opened was real. I believe that there are uh, any signs of repack uh, can be disproven. And I believe that we just got very unlucky. Uh, and I'm going to explain the process of that. I'm going to explain what we're going to do moving forward. And I'm going to explain what this means for my customers. So I have two business partners. They are the people who own Ancestral MTG. They are the people who source my pack, my 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 boxes for me. And we I work with them. I have a close personal relationship with them. One of them's name is, I don't know if one of them wants to be public. Actually, fuck it. One of them's name is Max. 
One of the name is Joel. Joel was the former vice president of Wizards of the Coast for seven years and is the co-owner of Ancestral. So he was working on Magic the Gathering when Magic was in alpha, was in pre-alpha. When Magic was being created, Joel was there with Richard Garfield, playtesting cards, making cards. He was the he was a vice president of Wizards of the Coast for seven years. There's also Tavis King. If you don't know who Tavis King is, Tavis is one of the most... OG magic guys of all time. Very, very, one of the most trusted figures in the magic community. He is not a buyer or a seller. He is the magic encyclopedia. He is the guy almost everyone goes to. He has mapped things. He he edu he has educated so many people on how to see fakes. The biggest well of knowledge for Magic the Gathering ever. So after stream ended, we immediately got into a conversation with Tavis. And Tavis sent me this. I'm just going to read what Tavis said. He went through and mapped every single card we pulled. He mapped every single uncommon and then the two rares, which were commons. He sent me these images and said this. So here's what we pulled. It follows the sheet perfectly. Here are the two commons we pulled in the rare slot. And here's the uncommons. Everything was proper, yada, yada. And he said this, it's in my opinion, this is Tavis King putting his name on this. It's in my opinion, this is a legitimate deck. The cards are arranged in order that the factory machine would do things. The two commons in the rare slot aren't random cards. They are in proper sequence. Also, he responds to me saying, uh, well, maybe they left the soul ring in there because soul ring wasn't valuable. He corrected me. By the way, soul ring was very valuable back in the day. It didn't have a reprint for 16 years after their last reprint and revised. It was valuable then too. Tavis said, it's real. I was not okay with that. That wasn't good enough. So then I said, Tavis, can this happen? Do we have evidence that this has happened before? And unfortunately, Joel, the former VP of Wizards of the Coast, CGC and Tavis independently all told me that this is something, this is an error that can happen. So where were the rares then if this is this is a message from Joel. Okay, where were the rares? Uh, Joel and Max. Where were the rares? What happened to them? Why are there two commons? The answer is that they were never in the deck to begin with. This leads to an interesting bit of history. During alpha, beta, and unlimited print runs, we're about to get really into the weeds of old magic. Carta Mundi printed 10% more rares, uncommons, and commons than they calculated that they would need. So they would have cards available to assemble decks to specifications, even if there are quality control issues, in early in packaging in which cards were used in the wrong ratios. Relatively early in the process of packaging beta starter decks, Carta Mundi accidentally used 13 rares instead of 13 uncommons for a significant number of decks. When, as a result, they later noticed they didn't have enough beta rares remaining to properly fill all of the beta rare slots. So that's why beta starter decks, you can get a god box that has 13 rares. Then they started using the extra 10% of beta rares that they overprinted. However, those still were not enough to complete the process of putting two beta rares in each deck. Cardamundi reached out to Wizards of the Coast on how to proceed. And since Wizards of the Coast didn't want to waste any additional time, money, or resources to restart the printing process, they elected to use 10% of the rares from alpha in which is why you can get alpha rares in beta packs. Very, very rare. Very cool. Even they did not provide card money enough first edition rares to put into the, each starter deck, they eventually used excess beta commons because they had so many extra of them instead of the rares to complete the production run. This explains why in rare cases we sometimes observe beta starter decks with no rares or god packs with 15 rares or alpha rares. Unfortunately, this is a thing that can happen. This is backed up by the head of CGC. This is backed up by Tavis King. These are all independent people, by the way. Tavis does not work for CGC or for Ancestral MTG. Joel, who also is the one who provided this story along with Tavis, he does not work for Tavis. Tavis not work for him. Joel, former vice president of Wizards of the Coast. This is straight from the horse. Uh, uh, this is the way it is. So my soul was a little crushed. My heart sank because I knew what this meant now, I would have to go on stream and say, hey everyone, <laughs> there's no scam. Now, you might be sitting here going, Wubby, I don't believe you. Wubby, I bought in and I don't believe you. First, I would like to say, I have an entire document with both Max and Joel typed out a multi, a humongous document that has references, all the Google Drive images of every single scene with this thing. I still have it on my desk if you want photos from me too. They have videos of open boosters opening a beta starter deck brick, that had they, all these references, uh, video of the shrink, people are saying the shrink wrap on the inside looked loose. They have video evidence of betas being open that look like that, everything. The question is now, what do we do? What, what happens now? I came up with this idea. The deal I have 
with Ancestral MTG and the deal I've given to my customers is if the deck is tampered with, fake, it is a refund. Unfortunately, this deck is not fake. This can happen. This is a very unlucky thing that can happen. However, I do take some responsibility. I didn't know this could happen. I didn't know. And if I knew, I would have said big on the site, hey, this can happen, buy at your own risk. I didn't know. I'll say this too. I'm not getting offered a refund on it. If I offer everyone refunded on this, this will probably be the last one we do. Uh, they said no refund. There's nothing to refund. This is a real deck. This is a non-tampered with proven. And I believe if, if you wanted to get crazy, I believe they could prove it in court. This is a non-tampered with deck. So what do I do now? Because my, what's important, and I have an idea and I would like to know, Joel ran an analysis and the EV of the commons and uncommons we got, he gave a statistic. We got some of the best value you could possibly achieve through the commons and uncommons. We hit Lightning Bolt, Land of Elves, Dark Ritual, Soul Ring. So here's what I'm going to say. I, and I, I want to know how my buyers feel. I do not give a fuck about what chat says, not because I don't like you guys, okay? But because I only care about my customers right now. So to the people who bought in, here was what I wanted to do as a solution. There are two rares currently that are not rares. There are 58 other cards that are the same 58 that would have been even if there were two rares. So here's what I want to do. From this point moving forward, if I sell a beta starter, I would like to apply these rules to that moving forward. Here are the rules. I would like to start with them now. First, I would like to ask for your grace. I apologize. Okay, this sucks. It's not my fault. It's not my business partner's fault. It's no one's fault. It's not your fault. Second, I would like to roll for everyone to get a slot, one to 60, and the people who get the rares will get a refund. I will eat that cost and a free buy-in to the next beta. I wanna know if that is fair. Here's how I justify that. First off, I am out $3,200. Second off, right now, if you bought in, you still have the same shot at glory. To my customers, if you're okay with that, do nothing, we'll roll it. If you are not okay with the solution, I would ask, please hit me up directly. Maybe we can talk and, and figure something out. If I don't hear from you by Wednesday, we are rolling the 60 names. We are moving forward with it. You get what you get. All right. Sorry we had to get in the weeds. I also want to say this. If you, someone's watching me right now and you're skeptical about anything I've said, any of you want any of this, I have a whole Google Docs link with every photo. I have this in front of me still. It's all above board. If you want to see it all, I'll send it to you. If Show me, hey, I bought in. I don't believe you. Okay, here you go. I'll give it all to you. I'm going to be very frank with you guys right now. I don't have to do anything. The deck wasn't fake. We can prove it. And I believe we can fully prove it. I'm doing this because I value you guys. I value you guys as customers. I value that I'm selling to my audience. I'm not saying be thankful. I'm saying work with me. Work with me, okay? I want you guys to buy in more. But at the end of the day, it is what it is.